Howdy. Today I have an early review for you of the LEGO Star Wars set number 75378, The Bark Speeder Escape. This set retails for $30 and releases on May 1st. It comes with 221 pieces and 4 minifigures. Let's get into it. I recorded the unboxing for TikTok and LEGO is still using plastic over paper. One of the bags was actually ripped open and Keller and Beck's head was loose, so already off to a bad start. It occurs to me, just now while filming this video, that Bricklink doesn't have any data on this clone trooper or Keller and Beck, so they don't have any numbers or specific names. This is my best estimation for this 501st trooper. He's basically the same one that came out in 2020, but this one has helmet holes. Say what you want, there's virtually no difference to me. The 501st Trooper and Keller and Beck are both exclusive as of right now. He comes with a nice cloth brown cape, but no headpiece because he's bald in The Mandalorian show. I'm not a Star Wars fanatic, so to me this is just another Jedi who survived Order 66. His robes are actually pretty cool and there's some nice gold printing on the front. Lego has also been kind enough to give us leg printing. And finally we have the same exact Grogu that we've been getting in several different sets since The Mandalorian was released. He's cute, but ubiquitous. Taking a look at the instructions, they were pretty easy to follow, and the set comes with three bags, although it doesn't state that. If you've watched my channel before, you know I don't put on stickers, but here's a quick look at the sheet anyways. Keller and Beck comes with a blue and a green lightsaber, and the hilts are a little bit shiny. They're not chrome, but there's nothing wrong with that as far as I'm concerned. He sits in the bark speeder, and his cape actually fits behind him, so that's always a plus. As for Grogu, he rides in his pram, which fits in the sidecar of the bark speeder. The front of the sidecar is somewhat adjustable, not sure why, but it helps you to take out Grogu. His pram is updated in the new Coruscant colors, and it comes with a clear plastic cone to have him hover or just stand, I guess. The weird thing is that it's just in a bad position, and it makes him more unstable than if you didn't include that. The bark speeder itself looks great, except for the noticeably large front, which is mainly due to the giant stud shooters. They provide just one of the unnecessary play functions of a set like this. At a $30 price point, this is obviously going to be a gift for a child on their birthday or Christmas, and they're just going to shoot the studs and lose them, so it doesn't really matter. The port side of the bark speeder looks pretty good with only a few studs showing. The starboard side hosts the sidecar, which is not original, but it's definitely something we don't see every day in Star Wars. The sidecar moves up and down on these hinges that may or may not be a play function, I'm not sure exactly why it was included. This very easily could have been built with bars or rods, but this is the design that they settled on, and it's the one that went to market, and the one that cost $30. Perhaps you've been thinking this is like a $25, even a $20 set. That's where you're wrong, because this comes with a lamp post. I don't even care that this is the first part of the Jedi Temple that we've ever seen in LEGO Star Wars. It's a lamppost in Star Wars. I mean, this introduces the possibility for an entire release, a series, where we get Jedi Temple pieces that we can assemble into a massive Jedi Temple later. This is the greatest idea anyone at LEGO has ever had. Or maybe it's just a throw-in to make a $25 set a $30 set. Even on the front package, it just looks so out of place, I'm surprised they even bothered to include it. But I mean, look at it. You have to admit, it's it's kind of hot. Like, look at the pose that it hit there. It makes me feel a kind of way that no other LEGO Star Wars set has ever done. Anyways, back to the minifigures. Here's the 501st Trooper, lined up against all of the other 501st Troopers we've gotten over the last four years, except for Fives and Rex. The one with the gun is the one from this set. And this is the old 501st Trooper. There's really no difference between the two, except for the helmet holes. The one from 2020 doesn't have helmet holes, and the one from 2024 does. I really could not care less about the helmet holes, and I'm tired of hearing people argue about it, and I hope that some of you, at least, feel the same way. Thank you guys for watching my Keller and Beck and Lamp Post review. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know in the comments. Also, leave a like, or consider subscribing. That's always appreciated, and maybe you'll see more early reviews like this in the future. I post a video every Sunday, and I hope to see you in the next one. See ya.